Hey guys, how's it going? Nazar here, or you can call me Naz, whatever tickles your pickle. Uh, today we're doing another very special review and uh, why I want it in my collection. So here we go. This is, first of all, uh, I believe her name was Christina Nielsen. She's uh, the driver of this number 19 Lamborghini. Uh, it caught fire. So, this is the Lamborghini Huracan GT3 Evo number 19. This is from the 2020 IMSA Daytona 24 hour gear racing <laughs> number 552. And uh, this one, was this also limited? Yes, it is. There's the number. This is one of 4,800, so uh, it's not a small number, but at the same time, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a couple thousand collectors out there that already own this. So we're going to open this up. Uh, uh, while I'm cutting this open, why don't you check out this beautiful thing, Catching Fire, and uh, I'll see you guys in one second. All right. Watch this, man. The pit garages onto pit road. They wow. all they did was fuel it, and uh, now it is on an outlet. Right. Well, find out what about this is. This is cars. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, fire! Fire on that car! It is back up the track, but there's fire from the engine bay. Flames licking from underneath the rear of that car. Christina Nielsen has pulled it down very quickly to the infield. There's f there's smoke in the cockpit as well. Christina sensibly getting out very calmly unplugs all of the things that she needs to and caution away for the car this will be a full course caution oh christina you are an absolute star she's gone to turn off the electrics and pull the fire extinguisher she walks away four hours and 58 minutes and 14 seconds we're waiting for some fire support it's arrived fabulously cool calm and collected from christina nielsen we'll be back with the aftermath as the next hour of racing starts here on rs2 imsa radio right now all right welcome back uh so what do you guys think of that <laughs> all right so i've uh, done and cut this open i'm gonna pull the uh the cardboard artwork out of there and put that into my little pile of uh, garbage uh, but uh, here we go whoa all right so first of all uh, yeah uh, as you saw all of that unfold in front of your eyes um, <laughs> um, yeah all right so here's the box uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, little uh, historic event of uh, a fire happening. I didn't really look into any more than that. Um, I don't really necessarily watch uh, this race, you know, the uh, IMSA Daytona 24 Hours. Uh, I've heard of it, obviously, but um, also I am not a fan of Lamborghinis. Uh, they're cool. I like the original Countach, you know, uh, and some of the older ones. But uh, not not a Lambo guy. I'm more of a Ferrari, you know, F40, Testarossa, that type of thing. That's more of my speed. But anyway, as you can see, this is fully licensed uh, amazingness. Just uh, just getting the box out of the way. I am SA. So there you go. Uh, toss that aside, and here she is, man. Uh, I wonder if anyone has customized this yet <laughs> to make it like on fire or whatever. Uh, so yeah, there, there's no opening parts, but uh, first of all, there you go, there's Christina Nielsen. Um, just gotta um, you know point out that the graphics on this are amazing like as far as collecting um, you know uh, 164 die cast uh, it's just a beautiful welcome splash of color to go onto the into my display case next to all the other cars and again uh, 
I don't collect at all. Uh, this is my first uh, Lamborghini, which is a collector grade, you know. Uh, I do have a couple of castings in Hot Wheels, but that's only because they're from the Fast and Furious franchise. I mainly collect Fast and Furious Hot Wheels, um, and that's what I have. So, um, anyway, let's take a look at this beautiful thing. Uh, what do we have here? Girl empowerment around, around racing. Okay, cool. Uh, gear number 19. Um, as everybody, I'm sure, uh, has reviewed in their videos, um, you know, they love the comic book paneling, and that's what I love. I actually uh, heard about this car and saw it in a review. Uh, I don't watch too many reviewers, but uh, the one or two that I do watch, they were both incredibly happy with this. I think one guy is from the Netherlands and the other guy is uh, an American, but uh yeah they were both like man i needed to have this because of this colors and all that and that was basically what um got me excited about this i was like i also love the colors <laughs> you can barely see that there's a freaking uh you know lamborghini huracan under there uh, i'm not talking trash guys i'm just joking around they're beautiful cars um they're amazing uh feats of engineering uh just not my thing you know um just like you might not like a certain car, I don't really, I'm not really into uh, Lambos. So, uh, let's see, we have rubber tires, of course, uh, really nice rims as well. I love the wing. Uh, it's plastic, not metal, which is usually what they are. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, no, they're rubber. I almost got excited. Uh, as I keep mentioning in my reviews, I really despise rubber uh, rearview mirrors. I guess they did that because people kept breaking them. Um, to that, I have to say, this is a collector grade car, guys. Uh, it's not a toy. You you can put it on a track, and you know, please do if that makes you happy. That's all good. It's your toy. Do with it whatever you want. Put it on the train track. Let the train run over it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but the way I collect things, um, you know, when it's a collector grade, something like this, you know, $20 and up uh, with high detail, um, I'm going to be careful and I'm going to try not to break things off. And if I do break something off, that's my fault. I should have been more careful. It's not a toy. So with that being said, um, I really wish they would stop with these rubber things because uh, I on, almost predict and guarantee that five, ten years from now, they're all going to start sagging like that and just dangling there like saggy old wieners. <laughs> so, yeah, just that's how it is, man. But, um, yeah, uh, again, with that being said, uh, I'm good. Everything else on here is beautiful. I love all of the livery. I love the fact that, um, oh, well, I'm not happy that it caught fire. I, I don't love that. That That's messed up that that happened. But uh, what I'm trying to say is I think like it's awesome that it's tied to that story, like what I just showed you. Um, you know, there was a story behind it. Um, sadly, it caught fire. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what it became known for. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I, I'm not sure what's going on with the team if they like fixed it up and started you know uh, doing more more with it you know I, I don't know if they raced again or did other races I'm not sure what Christina's up to these days Christina Nielsen here uh, who's the co-driver Catherine Leger Leger or Leger uh, Rob, you're from uh, you're from Brittany. If you're watching this, how do you pronounce that? Well, you can't tell me because you you can only write. So, whatever is number one would be Leger, number two would be Lege, number three would be Ligi, number four would be so, Liege. Tell me which of those numbers is closest to the correct uh, pronunciation. So yeah, um, anyway, there's not much else I can tell you about this review other than um, this is a very beautiful looking casting. I love it. Um, it's my only Lamborghini uh, collector grade that I have in my collection. Um, 
you know, uh, it has an interesting, fun story. I mean, no one got hurt in the fire, as you saw. She got out right away, made sure to disconnect the uh, electric stuff to, uh, you know, everything was done as it should. And uh, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, other than that, just a beautiful addition to my collection. Very happy with it. Very happy that I, I picked this up on eBay for like 15 bucks shipped. So I'm happy about that. I uh, didn't have to spend too much money on it, and uh, that's it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, there's many more coming at you. Um, I really love uh, what I'm collecting now. Everything has a story or some kind of purpose for my collection, and uh, this is a very welcome, uh, you know, addition to that. So, but yeah. Uh, Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name's Nas, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace and love. Bye.